Hey everybody, it's Mara and it's Sharing Wellness Promoting Health Wednesday and tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about collagen because um, it's a secret for youthful looking skin. So everybody um, knows that beauty starts from within um, and collagen is really essential for so many things in the body. Um, it's a fibrous protein made in connective tissue it offers structural support and strength um, to many of our body tissues. I mean, collagen is involved in almost every process in the body. It also promotes skin elasticity and hydration to support softer, smoother, more youthful skin. So one of the ways we can maintain youthful skin is to keep it moisturized, um, become a little bit more familiar with collagen, and stay hydrated. So. Collagen is absorbed by the body and collagen peptides, and that's usually in a group of two or three amino acids. And many research believe that these smaller compounds travel through the body and reach target tissues like cartilage or skin, where they support collagen-producing cells. So as we age, we make less collagen than our younger years. So when we're 40, our body makes about 20% less collagen than it did before 40 and by the time we're 60 we make about 50% less and since I'm going to be 60 next year that's a lot of less collagen. The bad news is we produce less collagen as we age and the fibers we have become more disorganized which is why many of us as we're aging are noticing more saggy skin or a loss of um, tightness or tone because a lack of collagen reduces the elasticity in our skin. Um, the structure of collagen um, provides the needed shape and tightly <clears throat> and rigidity um, our skin needs to resist stretching. So a lot of studies have shown that if we take collagen or eat foods with lots of collagen, it's going to have a positive influence on us and our body can then create more collagen, improving our skin elasticity and hydration. There's two factors um, that break down the structure in our skin, uh, weight gain and loss, sun exposure and time. And that's what really kind of leads to wrinkling and a loss of elasticity in our skin. So if you lose weight or gain weight, um, if you're out in the sun a lot um, for long periods of time, that really um, assists in wrinkling and a loss of elasticity. <clears throat> so since collagen is a major component of skin, supplementing with it can help provide structural support to restore skin um, its appearance and its strength. Also as we age um, our joints become less uh, fluid um, because movement through the years especially repetitive type movements put a lot of wear and tear on our joints um, including our bones, cartilage, tendons and ligaments. I know um, a year and a half ago I slipped on the ice and I had a really bad injury on this arm and damaged the ligament in the forearm here. And you know, still, if I lift something too heavy or do too much, it, it'll ache. So there's a lot of clinical studies that show if you take collagen, it's going to support not only your skin health, but your joint health and may reduce potential joint deterioration. Um, and to also improve joint discomfort. So there's a lot of benefits for collagen and I'm just focusing on mostly a couple of them. Um, also when we age our hair can become dull or thin. Um, that's a common complaint I know on myself. I feel like my hair is not as thick as it used to be and um, it doesn't look as shiny but it um, My husband's over here telling me I'm saying um too much. So, your hair loss or thinning your hair can also be linked to a diet um, because you're eating less protein and collagen is a protein. So, 
Collagen is part of the connective tissue that supports hair follicles. Taking collagen helps provide protein for stronger, healthier looking hair. So if you want nicer looking skin that um, can regain elasticity, you want smoother, pain-free joints and healthier looking hair, um, collagen is something you may want to consider. Also, a lot of times when we age, especially in the winter, I notice my fingernails sometimes will just snap because they get so brittle and dry. So nails are mostly comprised of keratin, which is a hardened protein that helps protect surface skin cells against injury. And as we age, our nails become more brittle. So collagen also provides a protein that supports the keratin in our nails. And consuming collagen supports the creation of proteins that are foundational to the structure of the body, including the nails. So the structural benefits of collagen include um, hydrated, smooth, supple skin, uh, youthful, healthy hair and strong nails, bone and joint health for a stronger body and a more active lifestyle, support for gut health by helping the body um, maintain a tighter cell junction, and support for um, your appetite, because combined with proteins during meals, um, it's very um, makes you feel very full and satiated. So collagens, um, like I said, are peptides. So when you look for a collagen supplement, you want them to be made of peptides that are easily absorbed, and um, you want a high quality collagen. There's many different types of collagen. You can have chicken collagen, pig collagen, bovine collagen, um, there's collagen and bone broth. So you want to make sure that the collagen you're taking is good. You want kind of non-GMO grass-fed. Uh, you want one maybe that's dairy-free and gluten-free. Maybe some that has minerals or some electrolytes. Maybe you want one keto-friendly. So collagen is something to definitely consider to add to your um, regimen on a daily basis. Um, I usually take Nature Sunshine Collagen um, because it does come from a non-GMO grass-fed source. It has electrolytes and trace minerals. It is dairy-free and it has uh, 15 grams of protein per serving. So. You can add it to anything. It really um, breaks down nicely, so you can add it to juice. I usually mix it with my goat green or I'll throw it in a smoothie in the morning. So if you don't want to do it in a drink, you can add it to soups. You can add it to your foods because it really has no flavor. So there's more to healthy skin, hair, nails, and joints than um, what we apply topically. So add collagen to your diet because it's a superfood. It's really needed by the body. As we age, we don't produce it. And it's used um, throughout the structural system, hair, skin, nails, muscles, bones, joints, ligaments. Um, it's really necessary. And especially as we approach 60, we're only making half of what we should be. So it's really a good thing to consider to supplement with and maintain your beauty. You can also use your collagen that you get um, for beauty. You can make a little face mask with collagen. Add some collagen with some water and some essential oils like lavender or frankincense. Maybe a little clay and create a facial mask, let it dry. So take a teaspoon or two of collagen, uh, some bentonite clay, maybe a little bit of honey or yogurt, some frankincense and lavender. You can also make your own um, facial mask when you're doing the ePower by using collagen because the ePower is a skin rejuvenator. It's kind of like a battery charger for the body. It's a soaky product <clears throat> and it uses negative potential energy and it's a bioelectric energy device that really activates our cells giving them the energy they need to take in nutrients, get rid of waste. 
So if you have an e-power, you're interested in e-power, you can learn more on the website. But to make a mask, I really love lavender, frankincense, some bentonite clay, or any type of clay. You can use kaolin, you can use red clay, rasool clay, whatever your favorite clay is. But take a couple teaspoons of clay, a couple teaspoons of collagen, some essential oils, maybe a little bit of honey to make it sticky, or a little bit of yogurt, and put that on your face. Do the e-power if you have one and that will give you a really nice um, facial. You just want to kind of make a paste consistency, so if you have to, add a little water or maybe a little hydrosol um, to get that paste consistency. There's tons of things you can do. You can also use uh, make your own um, hair treatment using um, an egg yolk, some olive oil, and some lavender essential oils and work that into your hair to nourish your hair and then rinse it out. So that's all I've got tonight is collagen. So consider collagen because it's great for aging. I started taking some the other week and I'm letting you know in a couple months how I'm feeling, if I notice any difference, or maybe you'll notice that I'm looking younger. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and have a great week.